Hello guys. How are you doing good today for Easter? How are you doing? Hello Dark Silver. Greeting to you too. And let me go back to the tab just to say hi. Karu, congratulations! You got a first! Karu, let's give a let's give some applause to Karu. And then thank you for the second italics and Folly for the third. And do you, do you have do you guys have plan today for Easter? Do you plan to go to your family? Do you celebrate Easter? Do you have chocolate ready? Like I know some people celebrate it for the religious side. Personally, it's more just a reason to meet family here and just eat chocolate, spend some time together, have fun. And I saw you too there, Nep and Mini. And hey man, so welcome everyone to the stream. I hope you're doing good today. I, I woke up not too long ago. I decided to start a dead cell run. It's going pretty good, but I stopped it because I didn't have time anymore. I'm gonna eat food and go do some homework. Oh, what the what's the homework today? That's one hell of an Easter you got there, Mini. <laughs> uh, I hope the homework is gonna go good. Like for me, I'm gonna probably stream only for three hours today because after that I need to get ready to go to my parents' house because I'm having dinner with them. So I'm gonna try to not go over three hours so we can just... I can go there. But other than that, uh, I'm probably gonna go just do... I think we are almost done with the side quest. You have to work on your project, you're behind, also that's fun. <laughs> I remember when I was at university and all, and I used to do project like, if I was early, I did them the week before. If I was late, I did them the day before. And hello, Fluffy, I hope you're doing good. Welcome to our favorite train conductor. So yeah, for those that don't know this game, because we're pretty far into the game, but it's basically an old school JRPG. This one, I think it's from 2008 or 2009. I'm kind of, I like this franchise a lot, so I'm trying to complete it. We're almost done with this one. You just woke up. Ooh, you've got a huge like time difference for, from my time zone, I think. Oh, VIP. Let me give you that, Crook. You could have probably just asked me for it at this point. I could have given you because uh, I, I know you RL, but you did it the right way. So there, if you type now, you're going to have your shiny little diamond. But yeah, well, I was the waking up, Fl Fluffy. Are you eating anything for breakfast or are you skipping? Let's go. Look at your diamond. Congrats. Uh, VIP mostly does that if there's... I think I've set up no breakfast. Yeah, I kind of... Usually, I don't eat breakfast. I go straight to the... The... Like, I don't... I'm not hungry when I wake up at like 8 or 9. I'm usually hungry at around 10 or 10.30. So I usually eat some almond at that time and go straight for lunch. Did you get up, went straight to computer, so my face is stinky right now. <laughs> you're leaving in 20 minutes. Where are you going, Folly? And Kirk, if you're curious, uh, I think in my channel, it's I made it so VIP don't have the chat restriction or something. Like, there's some things I can enable so VIP can do, but mostly it's like a badge of honor. Yeah, it, it depends if I've enabled it. I think I have. And um, maybe? I'm not sure if I've enabled, like, you can trigger this on my side. I'm gonna have to look at what permission I gave VIP. I didn't really bother with it at first because there wasn't any VIPs, but I should look at what I gave VIP the right to do. But sometimes VIP can send link, they can maybe sometimes spam message, so send the same message twice or more. Like, usually you can't, so... It's basically just a small advantage that you have, showing that you've been there a lot. And it makes it easier to see you in chat with the diamond. So we got the moon door this year. We did all the star doors except this one. That's the 400 battle. 
And this one... This I don't know. This one... Was this the... Yeah, that was the arena. But I think today we want to do the... Continue this story. So... The sixth plane four. Cash is bright and it was particularly strong. Still, we're able... And their company employee, we should be able to go to the four castle area now. Okay, so our party's pretty good. So let's move forward. So do you guys have any plan to do anything today? Do 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 And I, I got a little something I'm working on lately. I promised someone in chat that I would sing a certain song at one point. I don't think it's gonna be good, but I've been practicing, so I'm gonna try to record a song later on. And maybe? Just chilling with you while playing Master Joel. Is the new update out? Because I, I know there's been... Where were we going here? I don't remember. I, I know that... Oh yeah, I remember now. Because I know Tear is coming real, real soon. And I'm kind of... It's tomorrow? Okay. There's probably not going to be a stream tomorrow for those curious. Because tomorrow I'm going to the movie with some friends. We're going to go see... Uh, the D&D movie. So I'm really excited about that. You want to finish yeah, your season pass? Yeah, that's fair. I finished it a while back. But it's really... Like, there's a lot. It's okay. Have fun with friends. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have a fun time. We're gonna go to the movie. And afterward, we're gonna go grab some things to eat. So, probably no stream tomorrow. But I think I'm gonna have a stream Friday next week. So that I can... Uh, continue on Amnesia. At first I wasn't sure if I wanted to finish Amnesia or not, but I've read online that it's only a 4 hours game, so... Shouldn't be too bad to finish it. So, I think I'm gonna try to finish it on stream. We're gonna see how it goes. So now, this enemies, I don't think I want to fight them. I'm way over level for this area, so I'm just gonna run. But yeah, it's probably going to be a short stream on Friday if I do one, because I cannot do long or stream. Like, not at all. Cloak is to make enemy don't see us. Sepit is always good. Here, reviving ball. And what does the chest have to say to us today? By the way, where did you find the key to open me? And this one? There is one thing I want to know at this time. Is Oliver being an idiot again? I have no vocal cords, and I'm a scream. <laughs> it, it's such a mood. Scream all you want, my dude. The Desir, 5000 Myra, Super Gladiator Belt could be good. E Evan's Eye. I think I already got an Evan's Eye before. And there's a door here. What is this sun door? The darkness is lit by Sepchen Light, and that light shall act as a guide to all of you who have lost their way. Follow the mystical gem that contains that light, only then shall the door open. I have no idea what they mean by that. <laughs> no idea at all. Is it? I, does it mean I need to have someone with complete, like, different color of um, gems on their set? I have no idea. Uh, I'm just gonna go look... Back. No, I don't think I need. So we move forward. We move here. We move upward. Downward, sorry. <laughs> Elevator go down, not up. So now we got two ways. They probably lead to the same path. No, they don't. Oh, so those were... In the second one, Estelle was stuck here. She was stuck in one of those rooms. Like, the, the organization captured her and she was detained there. So let's see. A prototype mechanism made by Seti. Abstract foes with unusual attack. Let's see how much we do. Because we might want to build uh, our S-Craft if we can. 
It doesn't have any weakness. But we got a preemptive attack, so we should be able to kill it before it gets a turn. Yeah, just like that. So pretty easy. A bit of reward. Nothing much. We are not going to level from those guys. Oh, chess. Give me some, some more sepet. Don't mind if I do. We respawn. Another chess. Some Myra. I won't say no to that. And now we can go the other way. See if we miss anything. Yeah, we missed something. Freeze 2 could be good. I don't really like freeze or anything. But it's always fun to have. This one I'm not going to fight. There's no point really. I'm just going to go here. Open the chest. Some more sepet. Then we go to the last door. See if there's anything. Doesn't seem to be anything here. So we go back down. Fight it again. But this time we just run away still. And we move forward. So what do we do? We go here. We go down. Oh no, this time we go up. I'm so lost with those elevator. Where are we going? So this probably means a mini bus because they give us HP and it's like a way of saying you should probably save at this point just to be sure. So let's save just to not lose progress. Is there anything else on the side? Doesn't seem like it. So we move forward a long hallway into a big room. Is this the final bus? Open it. Open Sasame. And, and what's behind the door? The ominous music's playing. The... Org, I think, is the name of the instrument? Open Salami. <laughs> Same difference, to be honest. Allow me to congratulate you on making it here. Oh, those are the guys. So that's F Bleu Blanc, the Fat of Thief B. She's the friend of Shara, the one of our character, the one on the left, and the one on the right is a martial artist that was a friend with the big guy we have. That's a martial artist too. They were villains in the second game. Wait, is a splendid particular thing, is it not? You sure you know how to make a guy crack a smile? You came all this way just to give little me a fight. Circumstances as they are, it is good to see you again. I wish I had... Uh, Shara and the other guy, I can't remember, I think it's Zin. I wish I had them on the party. Because it, they probably have some special dialogue for this. I figured you would be the one waiting for us. Above all, what joy I feel that my most beloved stunning princess is among your number. Like, Bleu Blanc has something for the princess because it was its main focus in the second game. The goddess must truly favor me. Um, it's been a while, I see. So, I get to fight you three, do I? I can barely wait to get started. The pleasure is all yours, we assure you. Indeed. Fighting both the Black Fang and the Angel of Slaughter at once is going to pose an interesting challenge. But I ain't one to back down from a tough fight. In fact, I crave him. So let's go! <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Uh, there's no way we're walking away from this one. Probably no point in saying this, but take it easy on us, okay? As if you, of all people, need us going easy. Your game was up a long time ago, con man. I'd heard many a rumor regarding the church heretic hunter in the past, but I feared such rumor almost downplayed after learning he had the strength to slay the faceless alone. You certainly did a flawless job of deceiving us. I don't believe you have any interest in avenging his death. But it's only right for us to repay our debts, and we certainly owe you one for swindling us. So come on, time for you to show your true colors and stop playing around. Uh, well, if that's really what you want, that wasn't any there wasn't any point in holding back against you freak anyway. You got your wish. I hereby acknowledge you as Eredic. Let's the hunt begin. <laughs> that's it. 
That's exactly what I wanted. You look every bit the monster I'd hope you were. Just like us. Don't you think of holding back, kiddo? Not unless you want to add up slaughter on the ground. Well, I wouldn't dream of it at this point. By the time I walked through that door, my resolve was set. If I can't win here, I won't be fit to face him. So I'm going to come at you with all I've got. There's no way in hell I'll lose. Joshua? So those used to be like big minibus alone. So I'm curious how they're going to be now that there's the three of them at the same time. <laughs> my, my, we've, we have a spectacular performance in store for us, don't we? You're telling me. I'm fired up just thinking about it. Then made a curtain rise. Let us begin a carnival for the ages. Illusory are an infinite, spectacular and without end. So it's a three of them. Okay. So now maybe we do start with... I don't think Clockdown's gonna work on them. Hello, little Nekotifi. Thank you for the headpad. So we're gonna clock up Kevin. Oh, they're starting with their S-Craft. That's spooky. We got Chloe's S-Craft? Oh, I can call you Tiffy. That's fine. I'm probably gonna forget, but I'm gonna try to remember. I hope your day's going good. How's your Easter going? Do, 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 do. Oh, that's bad. She's stunned now. I think I'm gonna use an item to... <laughs> no worries, it's just my name is a mouthful. <laughs> yeah. So, can I do something that cures KO? This cures KO. So I think I'm gonna... Oh, I cannot reach with Kevin. Why? <laughs> so with Kevin, I think I'm just gonna go cast something. Maybe Abyss Fall on this. Because I'm probably gonna use... Okay, that's not too bad. You're good, how about me? I'm really doing really good. After this stream, I'm going to see my parents for Easter. So I am I have a really good day out of me. So that's why the stream is going to be probably only... Three hours. I'm probably not going to go over three because... Oh, that, that wasn't Kale? That's faint. Oh, I'm so dumb. I used the wrong item. Yeah, happy Easter. Do you have any chocolate you plan, you plan to eat or something? Like, usually, that's what we used to do us. Like, nothing really Christian about Easter here. We just... It's kind of like Christmas. It's more of a holiday to... Like, spend time with family. And make sure everyone knows that you care about each other. Okay. That's bad. I need to heal Chloe so she can use her item. Like, or not her item, but her. I got this. That will cure her. Doo -doo -doo. You're eating caramel popcorn as we speak. Nice. So, I'm gonna wait a bit. Because I don't think she can hit the other one. Yeah, exactly. So this is gonna heal. I'm gonna use Abyss... No, I cannot use Abyss Fall. So at this point, it's a pain they moved away from each other. Lightning, Plasma Wave is just a bigger one. I think I might just use a single attack on... Like, they're all annoying. But I think I'm gonna... Like, focus on blah blah for now. So, with her, she could move forward and punch this guy, but I don't want her to move too forward. As if she does, she's not gonna get Chloe's healing, and she's the one that needs it the most. So, Kevin's clucked up. We need to cluck up Chloe probably at this point. So, for her, because I want to keep her craft open, I think I'm gonna use an item. So, let's use this, why not? Some fire damage. 4,000 damage is nothing to scuff at. Wild card is fine. I'm gonna use this 
right now. Eel stuff. Maybe I used it too early. But I still have Kevin's S-Craft to, to stop two attack on everyone. And this is gonna give me defense. So this should be fine. Now on M, I'm gonna use Clock Up EX on Chloe too. So she's faster. Okay, that's fine. Didn't do really that much. So we're gonna continue. It's always kill one enemy at a time. Don't try to kill them. Like, don't spread your damage. It's the same thing in D&D for those that plays it a bit. You, you reduce the action economy. And once it's done, after that, you're fine. One damage. She's not doing anything anymore. <laughs> it's basically a 2v2 if she doesn't do anything else. Like, with the defense buff from Chloe, she's really not doing magic a little. Oh, that's really annoying, to be honest. Because that makes it she takes way more damage than she should. Do we have Curie on him? Yeah, we do. So we're gonna cure this. Kevin's gonna continue Napalm Bread again. I don't think they have healing spells. I hope they don't. Or else I'm gonna need to focus the the enemy that's healing. But they haven't shown anything like eels for now, so so five thousand is a lot of damage. But I can manage this. Now we're gonna do. He's gonna heal. Can she heal? Okay, that's revive and heal all HP. She doesn't have a AoE heal. So she's gonna heal herself for 12k. Just keep her alive. She's kind of the tank. That's an annoying ability, to be honest. The laser bullet is an annoying one, too. So Art is gonna kill you himself. So he's not small anymore. He's a big boy, not a small one. So he's big. As soon as we deal with Bleu Blanc, I think we're fine. It's just that he's annoying while <laughs> he's not dead. So we do this with her. We can finally go on the attack too. Like offensive. So we go Napalm Breath. She's gonna heal herself. We probably want to move her out of the way so he doesn't laser both of those all the time. That's kind of annoying. But he doesn't do much with this laser. And once Bleu Blanc's dead, there's nothing much they can do to us. Like, he's the CC of the group. So now... Oh, she's preparing an art. Abracadabra. Why are they wide? What is this? They're wide. <laughs> Oh, they are wide. <laughs> what is this? That's the first time I've seen this. Are they slower or something in that? Like, usually it just turns them small. It doesn't turn them wide. I don't know if it's a bug or something. Doesn't seem like they're... Probably they don't move as fast in this type of thing. Okay, so it seems to be a kneeling thing. So I kind of want to do... Attack delay. I cannot. That's going to be annoying. We need a way to stop her. If we move, we won't... We'll be able to act before she does. So I think the plan is we move here. He's going to cure them. And now we try to stop the girl on the left. Because I think she's trying to heal Bleu Blanc. So if she does, it's gonna be a real pain. So this one's gonna do the same thing she did before. Napalm Breath on this. Wild card. So that's a blind. I don't care really about a blind. The attack delay now should stop the spell, unless I miss. Oh, she resisted it. Oh, that's bad, actually. Let's hope. I think I'm gonna chain my S-Craft just so I do not 
Like, I hope I kill Blubla here. So I'm gonna try. Because I really do not want him to get healed for like 12k or something. And for her... Let's see. Oh, I can hit almost all of them. I can hit both of those. That's probably the better targeting. Like, the midi fighter is not doing much. So let's go to Mecha. We're in Gundam now. Okay, let's go. Please kill. I beg of you. Please kill. Oh, he's down. Nice. So that's... We're gonna see if that was an healing, but this guy's down. That's really good. Yeah, that was an healing. And that was 12 HP, like I said. Good thing we focused him. So I don't think they have revive. Which is really good. That was a lot of damage, but still not too problematic. So now we're focusing her for sure. She's shown that she has healing magic, so she's going down. No way she's staying alive. So here, 6k. Should it be too long to kick kill her? Elf fire. So that's her ultimate. I don't remember what the animation is for this. She's just fire breathing on us. So... Now we can chain this. To get ourselves the protection so we're gonna block the next two attack that's gonna let us time to heal everyone this is such a broken ability such a broken skill like just block two attack on everyone like that's not gonna do anything even if it's the strongest attack on earth we cannot do art anymore with it oh he's muted he's not that's not what I thought he was. So now I'm gonna use an item. Can I use something? I could use a kneeling item to heal her, but I can't reach. So I think I'm just moving with this guy. Starting to focus her down. Now this one's gonna do Nippon Breath, or can she do a big healing on everyone? I think she can. Yeah, so she can heal everyone, so sadly we're gonna lose some damage here, but that's fine for now. Not too much of a problem, so deal a bit of damage. Heal everyone for 12k, I think. Yeah, 12k, so everyone's back full health with some shields. So now we go on the offensive. He's got a crit, but that's not gonna matter because we got guards. She's gonna prepare an art. Probably... Who is she targeting? Is she targeting herself again? No, so it's an offensive art. Okay, that's good to know. Because if she targeted someone, that would have been the healing. But because she, it, there isn't a single red circle under them, it's not an healing one. So... Oh, she's reviving him. Oh, that's annoying. I really need to kill her. Like, really fast. So we're gonna do... Nippon Breath on M To not give him a single turn. So this is luck. Kevin doesn't have any shield anymore, sadly. So this one's gonna do... I never use my damaging item, to be honest. So maybe we use them now. Like, we got this that could sleep her, maybe. She's resistant to it, but that's fine. Still a bit of damage. Less than my weapon, though. So, he's back down. So, that was basically a turn wasted for her. So beautiful. So beautiful. So, this one's gonna go on the offensive with Napalm Breath. And try to get her down as fast as we can. <laughs> That's fine, so no guard on him anymore. Kevin's gonna go for the Nippon Breath too. She's getting real low. 
Like five more of Napalm Breath and she's down. So now we're gonna do a punch here and Joshua can use his S-Craft still again. So that's really good, that's a bit of damage. I think it did like maybe 2 or 3k earlier and it's AoE so it hits both of them. So Kevin's healing SP is pretty good, it means that I don't have to worry about using spell during the fight. She's using Napalm Bread too, that's dealing a bit of damage. And she's almost dead. Firestorm is fine, I'm way... Like, my health's so high that I don't really worry about losing this fight at this point. As soon as she dies, it's only a single guy. Alone. Uh, can we do... Evil Eye only targets people, so we cannot do this, sadly. They're gonna continue punching her, just add some chip damage onto this. And this? Oh, it's not enough, but maybe she can do it. I'm gonna try for Rene to go and punch her. Yeah, she was able. Okay, so now there's only the melee fighter, so this fight's basically won at this point. I don't see how we lose. Like, this guy's not doing anything. So we just focus him. The same thing as we did with the, all the other one. We spam a singular spell. Like, all the spells kind of do the same. There's not really difference. It's just a tier of the spell. So Napalm Breath is the strongest spell I have available to me. So that's why I'm only using it. So this here... Sadly, Kevin's got a crit. Oh no, I can use that actually to make use of the crit. Because Kevin's gonna cast, so he's gonna lose the crit. But this is gonna do a bit of damage with a crit. I didn't need to use it, but it's gonna fasten the fight a bit. So that's 5k, that's pretty good. We do a Napalm Breath again. That's gonna be 6k. And this guy is almost dead. Almost 7k, actually. And I don't think this is the final fight of the area. So, a big hit. That's 6k, I think. Oh, 8k almost. So, she's almost dead, but I think we got this guy before he gets a turn again. Like, we can do this. Maybe not. So, I'm gonna play it safe. I don't want Rainy to die. So I'm gonna just cast this here to heal everyone. Then Kevin's gonna go Napalm Breath. I was just a bit off, I think. He's got almost 14k and I think I can do deal 12.5k before he gets a turn. So we're gonna play it safe, not let our character die. Because if she dies, she doesn't get XP and I kind of want everyone to get the XP. And he focused Rainy too. So that was a good thing we did, the saving. And he's getting some CP, and now this should be over at this point. Like, we do Napalm Breath, and I don't know if we kill, but if we do not, the next turn we kill. Doo -doo. And don't forget, guys, small hydration check. Make sure to take care of yourself. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. So yeah, that was a lot of level ups. Joshua gained three level on this fight. <laughs> <laughs> Baba, I, underest I underestimated you guys. Oh, I had a lovely time personally. I almost wish it could have lasted a little longer. I think we're fine with stopping here. Seriously? Really? I'm with Luciola. Regardless, you have defeated us and with that, claim the right to challenge the Fort Guardian. The first to be chosen by Lord, Lord of Phantasma. And the last you shall face. Defeating him will be no easy task. But hey, you managed to give the three of us a real workout. Don't go screen, screen up now, or I'm gonna kill you. We won't. I'd rather avoid death at your fist, so count on it. Do you really have to go? It pains me to say yes, but we must. What about you? When will you be returning to Urbos? Hmm. You needn't feel rushed to find your way again. Take as long as you need. No one can restrict the action of we enforcers, not even the anguish. If you become our if you do become our enemy, 
I'd be looking forward to a hell of a fight with you again. And if you come back to us, I'm up for giving up you some training if you want it. You'd be able to master my zero impact in no time flat. <laughs> I'll give it a some thought. Ah, it appears our time is up. For now, I bid you all farewell. <laughs> Later. And that was some of the main villains of the second game. So those are enforcers, as they call. And enforcers are basically elite fighter of the organization that's kind of orchestrating everything in the background. Oh, it's another warp circle. Rainy was one too, the girl with pink hair. Right. On the other side of that circle await this area's final battle. You're sure you're ready for this, Joshua? As ready as I'll ever be. Don't hold back for my sake. We can step inside as soon as you guys want. So, how they're painting Joshua as like, is he ready and everything? I feel I know who the final guy is. Because in the first game, it was the main focus on the game of Joshua and some sort of brother. It wasn't his biological brother, but someone he grew up with. And it was kind of Joshua's try like story to try and surpass him. So I'm pretty sure that's the guy we're going to face. Just to make sure, because I think there's going to be a fight right after, we're going to save to not lose this progress and we're gonna see if we can do it with what we got we didn't restore any cp this time we didn't use we didn't upgrade item or anything oh that's a huge staircase my cardio training <laughs> no it's gonna be so tiring to climb up those stairs that's the final bus climbing up the stairs <laughs> oh where are we Looks like our friends prepped an area to have our final battle in. It seems that way. I can sense someone waiting for us right at the top of that staircase. Someone really powerful. Let's go. So let's see how we do. <laughs> Why is there so many stairs? There's so many to be honest. Like it's such a long way. Imagine training yourself on that, like climbing this. It would be a pain. There's even a cutscene to skip some of the stairs we climb. <laughs> oh. Welcome, orphan of a lost village. Greeting also to you, one who seeks atonement for his past transgression. A stigma forever on, at his back. Yeah, that's the guy we expected, but I we still don't know the identity of this guy, but I'm really sure that's like the guy that Joshua has in history with. Sorry for the wait. Because like they said, this place takes, like, parts of everyone's memory, so it makes sense that it would be this guy. Congratulations on moving your pieces this far across the game board. Should you defeat me, the final guardian, the end of this plane will finally be in sight. Heh, <laughs> of course, this is a very big hiff. Can I ask you one thing before we begin? Oh? Why? Why did, do you wear that mask and hide your face from us? <laughs> what a foolish question. Because that is the will of my lord. What other reason could there possibly be? Yeah, rain except uh, longer. Hello, Daft. I hope you're doing good for Easter today. Do you have any plan today to do? But yeah, Rin was the guy with white hair that was the like main antagonist of the first one, right? I don't remember the name of the guy. I just remember there was a swordsman with white hair that was kind of the teacher of Joshua that's the one that trained him and that it was kind of the uh, it was a, uh, an optional fight that you didn't need to win but if you won you got some more stuff out of it and it was like the final trial of Joshua in the second game so I'm pretty sure that's the guy the real one lazy Sunday that's good the reason for being here is that the Lord of Phantasma wanted you to be. I don't doubt that, but you hiding your face from us isn't their will at all. Enough of it, the lies. Joshua? Joshua? You all knew, huh? Sorry, my own inability to face reality has only made things harder for everyone. Heh. <laughs> don't try and shoulder all the blame for this yourself. I think we all had our doubts. I know I did. Indeed. I figured from the moment we met. 
I just couldn't bring myself to say it. You seem to think you've worked something out, but I haven't got the faintest idea as to what. I, If you're so sure you're right, why not go ahead and say it? That is, if you feel you honestly had the resolve to do so. I won't. You won't? Thanks for the lurk, Polly. I hope you have a great day. Why state the obvious when I'll see for myself after cracking that mask to bit anyway? What matters most right now is that we, if we can defeat you, there's no future for any of us. So right now, I'm just going to leave who you really are out of the qu equation. Not because I'm afraid to face up to the truth or because I don't know what to do in the face of it. But because I must and I will defeat you and overcome this trial before me. You're a hell of a stand-up guy, Joshua. <laughs> It'll be more, I'll be more than IP to fight alongside you. <laughs> I suppose I don't mind playing backup. <laughs> I didn't think that was all it took to get your fighting spirit back. Very well then. Do as you will. Defeat me and break this mask. He's not alone. Oh god, what is this? That's a mecha. That's a big dude. That's a really big dude. Black Dragon. Here we go. My name is Schwarzrider, Rider of the Black Dragon and Guardian of the Abyss. And in accordance to my pact with the Lord of Phantasma, I shall act as your next trial. Oh, this song is so good, by the way. Let the battle begin. Right. You got it. That's the opening song of the first game, I think. Oh, he deals 8k as a single play? <laughs> I, I think we might be losing this, guys. I, I don't want to be too bad, but... Hello, Yizu. I hope your story is going real good. But this guy's dealing way too much damage for someone. Do, 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 do. Just a casual 8k on a basic attack. Do 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 So we kind of need to heal her already, just so she doesn't die. But. I think we might need to get something because this guy's just way too strong. And this cancels our spells too, that's really bad. So we're gonna use a spell again, now we're gonna act before them. Can she do anything to bolster up our defense? She's got Earth Guard, but that's not really something that we can do too good with. What is the attack? He's got 80k L, this got 60k. That's gonna be a real hard fight, to be honest. We got Kevin's S craft if we need to. What's the craft of this girl? That's a set with a KO, but KO usually doesn't work on bosses. So probably not the thing we're gonna do. Does she have Forte? She does not. Uh, I think we're just gonna punch. See how much we do? We do so little. What is this? This guy's completely out of our league. What am I playing? I'm playing The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. It's a franchise I really love and I'm planning on finishing the franchise. Like this is the first three main games. I'm on the third one. And the next one is going to be Trails of Cold Steel. Which is 3D this time. It's in another part of the story. And... After that, there's Trails from Zero, which is kind of in between Trails of Cold Steel and Trails in the Sky, but some event happens in the same time as Cold Steel, so we're gonna play Cold Steel before Zero. And after what, after that, there's a new one that I think came out lately that was Trails from Into Reverie or something. So there's a lot of games to play. There's like five Cold Steel. So we got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, also, to be honest, I don't know much about these games. The only thing I've seen from the trails of Cold Steel. Yeah, I've never played Cold Steel. I remember watching it a bit a uh, long time ago, but I wanted to play this franchise from the start. I didn't want to go into it uh, halfway. 
So I wanted to like start from the very beginning. So that's why I'm playing this one first and going through Trails in the Sky and I really like the combat right here. Like the combat's real fun. So for now, I think the smartest idea is probably to focus on the big guy. If we kill this guy first, he's not going to be able to cancel our stuff. Sure, this guy deals a lot of damage, but this one cancels our spells. So in 10 of those Napalm Breath, we're going to be able to kill him. So that's a speed up on Kevin. That's going to be real helpful. Demon Flame. Oh, God. Please don't do like 20k to everyone. Please do not. I'm scared. Oh, just, just a casual... 16k to everyone? <laughs> We're so screwed. We are screwed right now. Uh, we're gonna try to do this. Oh, we could have done that. But this is fine. We're gonna be able to revive Rene with this. Let's hope this is enough. I didn't see that she got our S craft. That was a miss. Oh, you added the UG. Thank you, Eman. So she's back. Now he's gonna heal everyone for a bit. And afterward, now that's the super move gone. So that's really good. This is gonna move. Is it working? No work. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the syntax is for this, for it to work. So this one is gonna do nip on breath again. She shouldn't die this time because she's got 9k health and he does almost 8k. Oh, he missed you. That's good. That's good. So now we do another nip on breath here. Joshua's probably gonna do an item. What healing item do we have? We got this that gives defense. Probably the best one. Make Rainy a bit tankier so he cannot kill her. So defense up. Now he's gonna use Napalm Bread. This guy's slowly going down. Do 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 And for Rene, we should probably do better food at one point, like an agony food. Because those seems to be pretty okay. So Rene can I'm pretty sure the boss cannot be taunted. So does she have... She has Earth Guard. So maybe I use her to Earth Guard Kevin. So Kevin doesn't take damage. He's slowly walking. 5k. Okay, that's fine. Not too bad. This guy's missing a lot. Joshua's got a lot of evade. So that's pretty good. If you focus on Joshua, that's amazing. And we could do Sylphen Guard. Uh, can we do a Naoi one? No, we cannot. But we're gonna do this on Joshua so he's even harder to hit. Like 50% agility, that means he's gonna be so hard to, to hit. No, nothing's gonna punch through. Let's hope. <laughs> so we're gonna clock her up so she acts faster. And this guy's slowly going down. We're halfway there. And Kevin's slowly getting to his big S-Craft. That's what I'm working on. And Earth Guard on Kevin makes it so he cannot die that fast. Oh, he's using an art. That's new. Can I do... I could do this. Try to delay him. I don't know if it's gonna work. No, it's not. Okay, it's doing a big, big art. So, I'm gonna see how much this is gonna do. I'm kinda curious. Maybe we're gonna have to use Kevin's thing. Okay, that's a big spell. 
Confuse is really annoying. But Rin is going to be able to fix that, I think. Do we have item? We have for sure item, but we do have special healing item that cures Confuse. Uh, faint sleep. Freeze. Doesn't seem like it. So we're going to have to use the smaller item. Kind of a shame. But we got something. Like we can cure Confuse with this. And we got 26 of those. So we're going to continue punching through. Doing a napalm breath on this. And then she's going to go use... Uh, where is it? Where is it? The 26 one. This one. Smelling salt on her. So she's fine to act on her turn. And you know what? I think after this I'm going to try to steal... Oh no, I'm going to leave him with this plus 10. Because I don't want the AoE spell to be plus 10. 10 damage so this is fine what i didn't expect this robot to speak to be honest or is it the other guy that's speaking as the robot so is chloe gonna survive this she is nice nice okay that's good now we can do i think she's gonna be able to act before everyone else so we can do this. Yes, yeah, she acts before them. And with Joshua, we're gonna do a self and guard on her too. Just so she's harder to hit. So with that, she's gonna go back a lot of health. Those guys are fine too. I feel in this game the physical attacker aren't the best. They always feel like they do nothing compared to the magic damage dealer. So that should be around 9k. Oh, 7.5. A bit of calculation. I thought the 10 would do more there. So that's 6.8. That's fine. Can he do this to healer for another 12k? This one's gonna do earth guard on her because she seems to be focused a lot. Right th there, she's back to full health. And now the fight's way less scary. Like, we got Kevin's big thing. Is this the art negate? No, it's not. It's gonna stun, I think. Oh, both of those resisted it. Nice. So now we do this. He's almost dead. The big robot's almost dead. That fight was so scary. No, the command doesn't work. I'm gonna try to maybe add it later on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look at it myself. Maybe it's something I need to set up myself and it doesn't take it for you. I don't know. So this should kill the big robot. Yeah. So now there's one less enemy. Explode! That was a huge animation for the death of this guy. So now we're gonna move... <laughs> I'm not small. Me no small. So we're gonna move... Here? You don't get it. So, Earth Guard here. Kevin's gonna get hit by something. But at this point, I think I'm gonna use the S-Craft just to protect everyone. I don't see anything that would mean. Yeah, so this here, command add. Uh, well, there's an infinite. It's probably the channel number or sender or something that's not working. Like, it seems to be that there's a mistake in the typing that is done. It's with stream element that you're adding, by the way. So that's an AP absorb. I didn't know I had that, to be honest. I want to. I kind of want to see how it looks. It's probably not going to be the best, but I want to see how it looks. 
So this one's gonna do Napalm Breath on this guy, and now we're finally starting to deal damage. Uh, maybe the Night Bot's gonna work better for this. But I don't know what's the command for the Night Bot. Like, I don't know what people use usually for this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna use Napalm Breath here. And for those that aren't sub, just a heads up, there's gonna be an ad coming in 30 seconds, so go grab yourself something to eat. Go grab yourself something to... Like, move around, go grab some water. And I'm gonna see you guys in a bit. So let's go Earth Guard on Kevin now. Like this. Now we burn. And we slowly get him down. This guy is really tanky. Like, insanely tanky. Can we do a clock down on him? I don't think we can, but Joshua's not doing much at this point. So, probably our best bet to try and see if it works. Do -do 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 -do. Will this work? No, like I thought, he resisted. Most status effects don't work on bosses. I don't know which one works usually. Like, KO doesn't work, Insta Death doesn't work, Slow doesn't work, usually Seal doesn't work. So, at this point, I don't think I can lose this fight. It was real scary at the start, but I don't think for now there should be anything that could stop me. Like, I don't think Confuse is gonna work. So, why not just go to him and just start punching him for zero damage, no? <laughs> Their miss is really good. So we do this, and we might try to do Le Forte on the other girl. Like, she should have this, yeah. So I'm gonna do this to boost up my physical damage healer a bit. Make them stronger. So let's see how much we do. We did zero last time. Now we do a nice number. And this one does 1.1k. That's pretty good. So slowly but surely we're getting there. We're halfway there. We're halfway there. Oh, living on a prayer. I found a playlist that I'm probably gonna play next time we play Yu-Gi-Oh! It's like on Spotify and everything, and it's a legendary playlist. And... Oh, there's a clone of himself now. How much HP does a clone have? 29k? I might kill it because I think he's gonna spawn another one later on. So the best bet is probably to kill the thing he spawned. It's probably for him reaching about half HP that he spawned the clone. So this here. A miss again. That's so good. This guy's missing a lot. I'm slowly running out of spell power on Kevin, but he's still got 200 SP and this is 65, so that's really good. Making sure we can last a bit longer before we need to use an item to refill him. This girl's gonna keep attacking this, because I don't think this guy can reach me the next turn. Or maybe he can, but let's hope we can kill it before he can reach me. Body split. Okay, so you can split whenever you want. It seems. So I'm not gonna focus this one then. Seems to be just an ability you can do. So we're gonna continue fighting this guy. Try to kill him as fast as we can so he doesn't split too much. Because that's going to be a Spain if there's a lot of them. And are the bodies getting the same health as he has? No, they're sticking with the, the HP. Uh, like, they're always 29k. So that's good to know. 
If we do a craft, can they be s attack delayed? Do they have the same immunity as the boss? Yes, they do. Okay, that's good to know. So now Spiral Flare is going to do a bit, almost kill it. Now if we do... Uh, Abyss Fall, we can hit all of those. And with Rene, we can do... Art, maybe Earth Guard. Who's doesn't have it? She doesn't. So let's do a guard on Rene. This should kill one of the clone. So slowly but surely we're getting there. And welcome back everyone from the ads. I hope it wasn't too bad. Do, did you grab anything to eat? Any snacks? So one of the clones dead. We got Kevin's ability again. Zero storm. That's a Naoi I think. Okay, that's fine. It cancelled my skill, but I can always use Kevin's skill now. So now I'm gonna continue Napalm Breath on this. I'm gonna chain Kevin's here to make everyone tank at next riot. And we're gonna see where we go. Grail Sphere. So max guard, everyone's gonna be able to tank another hit. So this here, that's guarded. This here is guarded, that's really good. So at 6k it, we are almost done with the fight. And uh, now with Joshua, we w might want to do... Just punch the other guy because if we do the math 6 6 at 12 it's not gonna add up too much so we're gonna go punch here that's gonna be better for this guy and here for her she's gonna do the same because they do a lot more damage on the clones than on the main body oh she's solo okay i, I need to heal her but with this guy i'm gonna continue with the abyss fall i got time to heal her so Napalm Breath and Joshua can be the healer. Can he act before all of them? Yes, he can. So he's gonna heal Rene to make sure she does not die. Small bit of healing. So 12k. Then this is a lot of damage. And now he's gonna Kevin's gonna do a big AoE to get them pretty low. And, and, will we get close to finishing the bus? This should do around 5k, I think. 3.8k. So, next turn, we should be done with this. That's an art use, but I'm not sure you... Okay, he's getting another turn. But that's fine. Abyss fall here again. He's gonna get an, his art. But we got this girl that can... Okay, I'm gonna use her now. So the Confuse go away. Sadly, I lose the spell I chained for. But it's important that the Confuse is not there. Because it's basically a turn skip. So with her, I think I'm gonna punch this guy. And yeah, that's what I expected. So this guy is going to punch here, and I'm going to use her ability. Sadly, I cannot hit both of those, but this should be enough to kill the boss. I hope it is. It's with the 10 damage more, so it's a lot more. I think it's 10% more damage, the 10 there. So that's a big boost for a big move. He's only got 5k HP, so this should kill. If it doesn't, Kevin's got the kill for sure. Yeah, it barely did the job. So now, is the ad still gonna be there? Because the main body's gone. No, it vanished. Let's go! It was scary at first, but we did it. And a lot of XP. Supreme Evil Eye. True Phantom Raid. Chain Tree. A lot of stuff. And look at all the sepit. We got an emblem too. 
Yeah, that's a Blade Lord emblem. So it's for sure. The Blade Lord was the name of the guy with the white hair in the first game. So we know for sure that's the teacher of Joshua. <laughs> Yeah, I knew it. There was no question here. Congratulations. You did as you said you would. You broke my mask. You're right then. It really is you. I want to learn this song on my harmonica. That's the reason I got myself an harmonica. I never thought I'd be so lucky to see you again. Not that I can imagine this arena as much meaning for you at this point. <laughs> you have no idea. I was scared, I think. I might have give been given the chance to meet you again, but I knew from the start it was going to be short-lived. I knew I'd have to go through the pain of losing you a second time. Because yeah, this guy's dead. I remember he died in the second game. So he's not alive anymore, he's just a ghost at this point. So I tried to pretend I had no idea you, who you were to avoid it. That's why you ended up with that mask. It was my own weakness and inability to face up to the truth. Right? Precisely that. I was someone within this world to act as the final, strongest guardian. That much you already know. It was the Lord of Phantasma who called me. But they weren't the one who decided I should wear this thing. That was likely all of you. This world changes as a result of one's thoughts and desires. It's not... At all impossible for that to be the case. I thought so. Now thanks to your fort, my job here is finally done. Heh. <laughs> to tell you the truth, with that dragon to support me, I didn't ex actually expect you to win. <laughs> I barely did, with everyone here by my side at that. Well, working with others to achieve a goal isn't a sign of weakness. As for you, Rene, I never even had the chance to say goodbye to you in the first place, did I? I'm sorry. I wouldn't have chosen to leave you that way. It's not your fault. Besides, if you and Joshua hadn't stepped in and saved me, I'd still be alone today. So I'm not mad. Yeah, I'll always be grateful to you. Thank you. <laughs> Under any other circumstances, I asked for you to pat my head on one last time, but those clouds of yours look like they're gonna hurt. So maybe it's better if you don't. <laughs> I'm sorry there too. So Kevin Graham, can you finally have complete confidence in your theory? Yep, every last shred of doubt in my mind is gone. I'll make sure everyone you care about gets home safe and sound. You can count on it, Loe. In that case, count on you, I shall. I think this goes without saying, but the Lord of Phantasma is an ordinary foe. This won't be easy for you, but don't mistake what you need to do. Thanks, I'll be. I'll take the warning to heart. No, don't go away! I guess this is it, huh? I'm afraid so. I can finally return to where I belong. Yeah, I delivered your sword to Karen, by the way. Thank you. Don't worry about us. We'll be resting in peace together. Well, Joshua? Yeah? Goodbye, Louie. So those were, like, Joshua and this and the girl we saw for a brief moment were all childhood friends. They all grew up together. And their village kind of burned because of the Empire. The Empire is the place we're going to explore in Cold Steel. So because of the war between Erebonia, which is the place we are in, Cold St in Trails in the Sky, and the Empire, which is the place we're going to be in Cold Steel, uh, their village kind of burned and they got taken in by the organization as real young. The girl died. So they had kind of a goal of vengeance at the start, but the Joshua stepped out of it because he met Estelle's father. Loe. Joshua. Mm, I'm fine. This was always how this was gonna, going to end. Besides, the last time I lost him, all I did was act like a child who couldn't let go and worry him in his final moment. This time, I was actually able to properly say goodbye. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've done what I needed to know. I'll leave everything to you now, Kevin. No problem. Now that we've defeated the final guardian, that path along the scenic route should be open. Let's head on over. The one leading to the royal villa, right? Got it? 
So I think we're closing in to the final chapter now. This seems like we're getting to the end. Do, 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 do. We need to go down the stairs now. <laughs> no. No more training. There's so many stairs. <laughs> do, 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 do. I could probably have warped. I didn't need to walk all the way here. Now that I think about it. Or maybe I couldn't. Oh, the portal closed. Eh? Where did the warp circle go? Oh. A door. One of the final star doors. Let's go. What? What? Played through from silver 5 to plat 5. Now I see why they're limiting the spell field. Yeah. It's kind of dumb that you can play on your opponent's turn with the flu field spell. That's one of the things I'm not happy about getting tier and master duel because they're gonna play on my turn and i hate that well that's foreboding actually thinking about it it's possible that it it was this door that was there first and the warp appeared later and took its place and that would make sense so what is this door about i'm gonna save real quick to not lose the progress we just did always take time to save in your rpg all is one, and one is all. All begins with one, and in the end, it returns to one. Only when we have released all of the other doors so shall this one open. Ooh, so that's a final door. One Omni and two Shuffler is, negate, is funny, and also Floodgate, yeah. So what other star doors? So, release all the other doors shall this open. So... Do I need to do this one specifically, or can I just do this one? The 400 battle. How many battles do I have right now on my journal? I'm at 376 victories, so I might just grind some battles to do the final door. I need 24 more battles. So that I can reach the 400 one. So maybe we're going to grind a bit. Let's go, because this one is... I think we only need this final door and we can open this. And we're going to be done with all the star doors. We still have one more that we haven't seen. But I don't think... I don't know if it counts. And for the other doors, I might look at this off screen to see what the requirement for some of the doors are. Because this one... Uh, present to me a form of happiness you have obtained. Only then shall the door open. I don't know what they mean by that. And this here. Open the door and step inside. Prove it the challenge. So I think this is the arena. We could go do the arena now. If you wish to step inside, prefer the, the cards that governs fate. This might be the girl. But I don't think I've got the card I need. Present for me all of the mythical gems that contains that light. Uh, it's the Biception Light, and the light shall act as a guide to all of you who have lost their way. So, is it possible to have someone with everything? So, we got Wind, Fire. Like, here I would only need Earth, I think, on this path. So, maybe we try to do this. Like, we could remove this. Put in this, maybe? So now we got a set of every single element in the line. So let's see if we can open the door now. Which door was it? Uh, this is Sun 5. Okay, so we go Sun Door, Sun 5, and let's see if we can. I don't know if we can. It's kind of a nerf of not having speed. But maybe that's what they mean. That's what I guess they mean. No. All of the gems. Is it the onyx and everything? Because that's not this. But we need... Okay, so we might need the other gems. So I'm going to remove this. 
to add back the onyx gem so what gems are we missing we have the emerald gem uh we're gonna go back to the main hub and see if we're missing any gems i don't think we need all the gems on a single character that wouldn't make sense but maybe we need all the gems in the same party so let's go here it's in synthesized quartz quartz here so the earth one we have one in the inventory the water one we have this one already we have two this one we have three so that's fine the fire one we have the ruby gem the wind one we have the emerald one the wind gem we have two there's no other the wood gem we don't okay we need a bit more wind sepit the time we got the onyx and no more space there's the gold gem that we already have and mirage silver gem we got zero so let's craft one and mirage gem we don't have any so this here so we only need some wind sepit and what enemy can give us wind sepit at this point those guy gives nine of everything uh, is there an enemy that gives a lot of wind sepit uh first plane let's go to the final plane so six plane two that's 29 but that's a bus that's a bus two that's a bus that's a bus those are all buses i can fight those give me the enemies i can fight okay so not here I'm just searching for Sepit to farm at this point. Oh, I don't have information on those one. So this here, that's a little... Those are moon doors. Let me just look around. Star doors, moon doors, six planes. So we're gonna go... There doesn't seem to be any enemies here so let's go here so this guy gives little wind sepit this gives some that's 12 that's not bad 13 for those that's not bad this is 11 this is 12 but we cannot fight those that's one that's 24 those guys are really good then so we need to go fight those maybe this seems to be the best one to fight, or those. But I don't think this was a bus, I think. This was a bus. 48. 37, I saw 37. Oh, those oars. Okay, so that's on the fifth plane. I think I'm gonna go fight those oars. Just to get the final gem, try to get, so... I don't know where they were. But they're gonna grind a bit. Orsi! Orsi, Orsi, Orsi! Come here! I just want to be friend! Oh, they're there! I see them! I don't remember the layout of this, though. We're gonna get lost. We're so gonna get lost. Let's just fight everything at this point. They sh really shouldn't be a problem. With the level we're at, like, we should kill all of those real quick. Let's do an abyss fall. They're gonna take a turn. Like, they do nothing. We're just grinding for resources at this point. Let's go kill this thing. Like that. That's one down. He gives a little bit of sepit, but not the greatest source. Here, and the AoE should kill all them, even with a crit. Like, the crit is not necessary at this point. And we do this. Yeah, so those two are done. That's a bit of win, Sepit. We need 1.2k win. 
So that's 15. That's not the greatest, but we don't need that much either. Like, let's go... Here, maybe? Are we going backward? I cannot change the camera angle in this. Let's do a preemptive attack and try to kill those guys. I might kill them in one hit at this point. Yeah. So just punch. Kevin's gonna do a shoot here. Kill one. So those are real easy grind now. This here. And we even got a dead blow for some reason. So that's seven more. We're at 1.1140. So we only need 60 more. If we can find a singular horse, we're really good. Those guys gave some... Let's see. Let's kill one and see how much they give. Do they give green one? A bit. I think they give one or two. But at this point, there's no reason not to kill them. We already committed enough. <laughs> so we go punch here. Do, 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 do. Oh, that was a lot of win. I saw. 36. Nice. So one more fight like that, and we should be good. I really only need the gem to open the gate. I don't even think I'm gonna put it on. So let's go here. Please. Spiders could be good. And uh, let's do just... Uh, where's my AoE? This here. Kill all of those in one turn. Oh, that's an amazing effect. And it confuses too. This ability is crazy now. So Karen's slow. <laughs> He's got no movement speed. He cannot reach for the life of him. So did we get anything here? Six, so we need 24 now. So that's a sun door. Which one was this one? I don't remember. Uh, card know what a future holds. If you wish to step inside, present the card that governs fate. I still have no idea what this means. But I'm sad we haven't found a single horse as of now. Like, that was the whole point we're here. So let's go instead 5th plane and a bit more, like, deep. See if there's gonna be more horses there. Another spooter. Only one. That's not gonna give much. But it's a fast fight, so why not? I think it gave That's maybe it. two? Yeah, two. <laughs> oh, so we need to go backward then, because we were forward. So, let's go to the entrance. Maybe that's what I was messing up. Maybe the ores are more at the start and not at the end. Let's touch this. Because the spider don't really give much. This was fine enough. Let's vanish the spider. Because it's gonna die anyway. Then we can just punch here and punch with Rainy and this should be fine. Like this. And how much are you gonna give us? Nine. So it uh, we're at 93 right now, so we need seven more. This should do it. Those guy gives a lot. Now Kevin, can you finish him off? Yes. So that's one down. And this should be enough to give me what I need. Zero damage. What a threatening fight. So right here, we're gonna finish this. And this should be more than enough win Sepit to craft the gem. Yeah, 36. So now we can go back to the main hub to get ourselves the gem that we're missing. And let's leave the sun doors open now. So here, synthetized quartz, quartz. It was the win one. And the... 
wood gem. Oh, I need Mira ship it now. That's a pain. <laughs> what enemy can I fight for Mirage at this point? Uh, six plane. This wasn't really any enemies. This gives Mirage. I might just go fight those guy. There, I know exactly when I can where I can find one. So that's gonna be an easy target. That's a target I use to grind everyone back to the same level. And they're gonna be so easy to fight now. Like, those are the guys. So here we do... Why not an Abyss Fall at this point? Like, let's just nuke them with good spells. Right here, and she goes for the punch. I used to do zero damage with unphysical abilities on those guys. Uh, what, Gehina? So this, if they do not die, I'm gonna be surprised. There's so many spells there going on at them. Like, just Kevin should probably one-shot them. So, he's not doing much because he's not good with magic, but Kevin's amazing with magic. So, do we kill? Two. Right here. This goes down. And, like I said, everything's dead. So this should give us what we need. All right, what's next? Yeah, exactly what we need. So now we can go back to the base area, grab the gem and try to open the door. Finally, <laughs> a bit of sidetracking, just messing up what I needed. But we got there with gem, craft this and then we should. I don't think we need to have them equipped. I think we only need to have them on us. So let's see, let's see. And I'm gonna save for this because I do not want to redo this. So let's save here. And open the door. Please don't tell me I need to have them on people. Oh, thank you. So yeah, we have all the gems, so now we can open this. I think the sun gates are long backstories, if I remember correctly. So yeah, there doesn't seem to be any enemy here, so I don't think that's a challenge. It's just going to be a memory fragment. Yeah, I shall grant to you a memory fragment and my blessing. So, who's the memory fragment now? Is it the history of Sepit? Because we needed all the gems? Maybe? Oh, this guy. Hey, how have you been doing? He's another agent of the associate, like the organization. <laughs> it's me. You remember me, right? Thanks for coming all this way to see me. I hope we both have enough fun to make it worth your while. What? What am I even doing here? You didn't really ask me that, did you? Nah, nah, that boy's gonna have his secret. Anyway, let's move on to more important matters, shall we? I've got something really fun in store for you today. It's called, Who Wants to Be a Miranaire? In case you didn't already realize, this is a game full of fun pop question to see how well you know your trails. Ready to give it a go? You are right. Oh god. Very nice. I was hoping you'd say that. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'd better go and get changed. Let's see if I remember stuff about this game. I won't keep you waiting too long, okay? <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Who wants to be a millionaire? Trails in the sky. One sec, I need to save this. This is gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> the, the rules. Each round contain 10 multiple choice questions. Choose the right answer for each of them with the within the allotted time. Choose the wrong answer or running out of time on a question with darken one of the circles at the top of the screen. If all three of them turns gray, you would lose the round. Okay. So how do I remember this? 
Well, let's get started then, shall we? I hope you're ready. Question. What branch of the Bracer Gill is cutest Mania Candelas? Uh, I don't remember, but I think it's both. In theory, Lurent, the, grand, the old man in charge of the Bozes branch, once man the front deaths over at the Grants of branches. Set. So the time is really short. I might not have time to, re to read them out loud. What is the first name of the Prince Sullivan's father, the current train upper? Uh, Gilead? No. Okay. By what name is highly capable Bristol Sheras, otherwise known are as? I think it's the Silver Streak. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind being on the receiving end of that whip of hers, trust be told. Oh no, he's an M. He's an M. Oh no. <laughs> Which of the Tetra Cyclic Towers situated in Ruin? I have no idea. Staffirl. Those questions are hard. The ultra dependable protagonist is Tell. Yes, Tell Bright. That's not a hard one. Quite a fitting name giving her personality, don't you think? It fits her father quite well, too. What's the name of the martial art style used by Zin? Uh, it's the Taito. Yeah, it's the Taito. The name's actually a combination of Very Large Mountain and the Big Diaper Asterism. I bet you didn't know that. What's the name of the vast area of woodland in the southern part of Roland? Uh, Miss Forest? No, Miss Waltz. So we lost this one, but we can go again. I don't know if it's going to be the same question again. Well, quite, quite interesting. Testing our knowledge. Yeah, let's play again. Let's start. Is it going to be the same question? Captain Sword, when this guy is sitting the first... I don't know. Okay, that's what the right one. Uh, what's the first name of Prince Oliver's father? We had this before. That's Eugent. So it's a set of questions. It's not in the same place. Uh, Black haired darling Joshua's most played harmonica song. Uh, the whereabouts of light. That's a song I want to know. Like that's a song I want to learn in the harmonica. I know this songs so much. It used to be a really popular song over in Erbonia a long time ago, you know. Which of the Tetra power is the Sapphire? Oh, they changed it! They got me! I didn't even look! What branch of the... Uh, that's the Bosis one? So we're doing pretty good for now, we still have two lives. Which of the Tetra Roland? Maybe that's the Sapphire? No, that's the Esmelas, okay. What's the color of the of kitten of the she ribbon? That's a red one? No, yellow one, okay. No, we lost again. <laughs> but I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this guys. I really want to win this. Slowly but surely we're gonna get our knowledge back. It's so hard. A large lake in central bit. It's the Valeria Lake. Yeah. Apparently, it's possible to see the lake from every region. What's the first name of Estelle Lit Mother? Uh, Stella, maybe? Lena. I don't remember them saying it. Which is Ruin? Ruin was Sephiroth, right? Yeah. Ruin Sephiroth. Esmeralda is the. Esmeralda is. By the, what name is highly capable Bracer Shrust also known? It's the Silver Streak. Now we got... Which of the three in the Zeiss region? Zeiss is not the starting one. So Emberl is the first tower that I know. So Zeiss is not the first region, so that's not this. What's the name of the martial arts used by? It's Taito. We're doing pretty good. What's the name of the Bracer Gale training facility situated in? It's a lot. We went there before. What branch could this analyze the 10 to? That's the bosses one, so we cannot lose now. Because there was 10 questions and we got two fails. Uh, Vasteria, that's the... 
Mistwald. And we did it! Wald is the German word for forest, incidentally. And Miss Surly, you don't need to, me to tell me what it means. What's the name of Captain Schwartz when he was the guy that his sister? That was Ellen, right? Yeah. So maybe we go for scores now? I think we needed 10 to... Or did we do it? You did it! <laughs> You're amazing, well. Wow. You actually managed to get every question right. Well done. So score, time left, difficulty. Okay, so if you do 400,000, you get 10k Myra. We didn't get much, but we don't really need the Myra, to be honest. I don't care about getting 10k Myra. Yeah, you did it. I knew you could. Well, I've had plenty of fun for today, so I, I think I'll go to, to do my own thing now. If you feel like another round, though, you know where to find me. Bye bye for now. Side story Capanella's quiz game finish. Let's go 10 Myra <laughs> and Septim Bullet. We can play the art difficulty now. But I might do that off stream. That's not the best to do on stream, I feel. I might try them off stream to see. But we, I don't know if we need to do all the sun doors to be able to open this last door. I hope not. The moon door... I still don't know how to get to it. But for now, we're going to continue on to the main story. Do, 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 do. Little water check. Make sure you guys are hydrated. So... Now we do... What I wanted to do. It was save. So we save here. Now we go here and we can move forward now. I'm not going to change the party until I really need to. Uh, okay, this is for the map. So let's go see if there's something. I need to find where the gate was again. I kind of forgot, to be honest. I don't want to be seen, but I don't think... I think I got a gem that prevents enemy from seeing me. So right here. Now if we look... Okay, so we need to go down, actually. Do, 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 do. Right here. Now, was there the gate here? Let's see. I think that was where the gate was. Yeah. So now we can go here. Missed. Well, once again, we're in for some fun times up ahead. No telling what it could be, but we'll have to walk through here eventually. Just take a deep breath and step inside, I guess. Let's go! Do... Do -do -do. Huh? Wait, we're back to where we were? We walked straight in the opposite direction. How do we end up back here? It looked like there's some kind of condition for advancing into the next area in case, too. I think we might actually need to have Rias with us. Do we now? How come er? If my theory is right, and I think it is, this is a fairly safe deduction to make. Still, the fastest way to be sure is to give this a whirl. Let's get Rias and Ever come with us. Okay, so we need to go back. I can't. It's kind of a shame because I'm gonna need to walk all the way back here. <laughs> now, why? Why is not, there no teleporter just before the gate? So now we can put Rias probably over Joshua. I don't feel he's that useful compared to the other ones. So we go get her. Okay. Can she get any upgrades at this point? Like this here. This is not an upgrade. This is not an upgrade. This gives ATS. This gives ADF and defense. That's pretty good. Uh, this prevents sleep and faint. What was the gladiator thing that we got? The Blade Lord on them. It's so good. It's that everywhere. So for sure I'm giving her that. So now this girl... 
add pretty good stuff too. This is fine. I might look for something else though. Uh, this could be good. Prevents faint, prevent thing. We lose a bit of move, but we get ATS. Uh, what was the other thing we had? This is a pretty good thing for strength build. But I think we're giving her this thing. So now for the Orbman, this girl, is she set? Pretty much not. So this here is only... We can put information on her, but we probably want to upgrade our slot, but I don't know if we got the quartz to do so. Slots, Rias. Yeah, sadly we don't have the Mirage. So we're gonna, for now, leave her there. She's gonna be pretty weak. But it's gonna do. And as we fight enemy, we're gonna be able to unlock her slot. Do 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 do. Just gonna grab a little bite. One sec. Oh, I forgot to support. Who do we put? So we could have. Item drop rate more is pretty good. Battle EP recovery is pretty fun. This is CP recovery by 2%. Move plus 1, ADF minus 25. But I think I'm gonna go for this one. Less defense, I don't really mind, but we get more sepit out of battle. Which is the thing I need right now. I'm running low. It's so calm. So, yeah, that was a faster route. Going the left way was faster than going the right way. Because you don't have to do the big, like, flat. We're able to move through. Where? I knew it. Oh, it's like we've ended up somewhere different entirely. Oh, you're right. This is probably the place they grew up together. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the church that Kevin and Rias grew up together. Wait, isn't this... isn't that the church emblem? Kevin? This is probably the place where... Rias' mother is buried, or something. Welcome to Astra House. The place where Rias, Rufina and I grew up together. Yeah, Rufina. I don't know if it, it was it the, the Rias' mother, or was it the... We did the chapter 6? We're on chapter 7 now? Let's go! Finally, it's been so long that we've been stuck on chapter 6. Do -do -do, do -do -do. The Distant Flame, Chapter 7. So I don't know, there might be 8 chapter, maybe Chapter 7 is the final like chapter where we move around, and afterward we go to Chapter 8, which is probably the final fight, I would guess. Is that snow or ash? I cannot tell, to be honest. It's probably snow. Sick to see somebody play this game. One of my friends in the series right up here with Kirono Kisuki. Hello, Armes. Yeah, I really love this franchise. Like, I've only started playing it six years ago, and I kind of stopped at one point because of university and everything. But now that I've got more time, and one of the goals of me starting streaming was to make sure I put time into completing this series, because it's an amazing franchise. And I really want to play into Cold Steel after this, and after that into Trails into Reverie, or Trails from Zero, 
or Trails from Azure. There's a lot of games I want to do in this franchise. So we're almost done with the Trails in the Sky, so next up is probably going to be Trails of Cold Steel. This is only a copy of Easter House, yes? But it looks so... so... Yeah, I can barely bring myself to accept it's not the real thing. Everything from the feel of the heart on the food to the smell of the air are just like the real thing. Yeah, that's what I think. Cold Steel came before Zero and Azure, right? Because I know... I think Zero has spoiler for Cold Steel and Cold Steel has spoiler for, for Zero. But you should do them in release order. So that's what I did. At first I was kind of interested in Cold Steel. That Cold Steel that I knew from Steam and all that I see everywhere. But when I wanted to play Cold Steel, I saw that this game came before it. And I fell in love with the franchise and playing Trail in the Sky. It's such a good game. I love my turn-based isometric game like that. Yeah. This is where the two of you grew up. Judging by the emblem at the entrance, I take it this is a facility operated by the Septon Church? That's right. And it, it's what's called a gospel facility. Think of them as a cross between an orphanage and a monastery. I see. So that means you must be... Well, no reason to dance around it. So yep, I'm an orphan. We kinda knew that already. And how I came to be here is a story best save for another day. So where are their parents? Well, Kevin's an orphan and Ria's mother kinda disappeared at one point. We think she's dead, but I'm pretty sure she's <laughs> the main villain right now. I'm pretty sure, like... Ria's mother is the main villain. And I, Evil, I hope you're doing good today. Do you have any plans for Easter and Aramis too? I did, I forgot to ask you, but do you guys have any plans for Easter today? Feels weird being back here again. Though, it's been about five years. Five very long years. Well, anyway, we're bound to find some kind of clue as to how to get to the seventh place somewhere in here. You guys up for having a look around the area with me? Yeah, let's go. It's so peaceful. Do So what is this? Is this the living room? Like the dining table? What's this room? This is the living room. Where we used to have all of our meal. Just don't make the mistake of thinking it was a warm place like Mercy Orphanus. The matron here was a stubborn old sister who was strict as could be. Every meal time we had to pray so much that our stomach had given up on getting fed by the end of it. And we got yelled at for the tiniest thing. Oh, I see. You deserved it all, in my opinion. You never did as you were told and caused her nothing but grief. Zero and Azure came out before Cold Steel in Japan and Zero and Azure takes place in the same time as Cold Steel and 1 and Cold Steel 2. But you should play Zero and Azure first since it's the OG GP release order. Oh, that's good to know. Because I knew Zero and Azure took place in, at the same time as Cold Steel and that like both game gave some stories that you kind of spoil a bit if we say between parentheses but... You need to play one to play the other, so probably Azure and Zero first then. Is Zero before Azure? I guess it is, right? It's probably Trails of Cold Steel the third into Zero into Azure into Cold Steel, right? Because I know Zero and Azure are uh, isometric too. Cold Steel is completely 3D. <laughs> okay, I'll admit that's probably accurate, but still. Is there anything here we can interact with? Oh, that's the kitchen! There's bread! We gotta get that bread! As you can probably guess, this right here is the kitchen. This is where the older children of the facility did the cooking. Yes, Zero and the was for the PSP and Cold Steel came out for the PS3 and Vita. Good to know, thank you for the information. I probably would have went for Cold Steel first if I didn't know. 
It was also Rhea's favorite place to sneak into whenever she had a f anchoring for some food. Kevin! That brings back memory of Matron and Teresha's orphanage. Denon and Polly used to do that too. Perhaps they still do. <laughs> How cute. But please don't take everything he says at face value. <laughs> well, anyway, Kevin's really cool as a character. He was kind of sus at the start of this game, like hiding everything from us. And he was really sus at the end of this second game, where he just petrified someone out of nowhere. This was always Rufina's turf back when she was still here. She was always out here around mealtime making food for me, Rias, and the other kids. After she left, Rias and I took over her position. This, that brings back memory. Of course, then you left too, leaving me to handle it all alone. <laughs> the mere thought aggravates me. In fact, I think you should whip up something right now to make up for your selfishness. Yes, ma'am. I'll make you something. Later? The only thing less reliable than a promise with later attached to the end of is one said by you. <laughs> I'm not going to get my hopes up. Ah, uh, man. No faith in me, huh? Well, Kevin, you're, you're kind of a man, so... <laughs> you're fighting a losing battle here, Kevin. So there's nothing left here. And we can go upstairs, maybe? <gasps> Bedroom! This was a matron's room. No one's here now, though. Yeah. By the way, Rias... How is the matron this day? She's fine. Her injury weren't lasting. She hasn't had the energy she used to ever since retiring, unfortunately. She really wanted to see you again, Kevin. She did, huh? There doesn't seem to be anything that I can interact with here. That's probably the children's bed? Like bunk beds. That's... That cries, children. This here is the kid's bedroom. I slept here back when I... First, was first taken in before graduating to the boys' bedroom. Never really did mix well with the other children. Rufina had such a hard time trying to get you to make friends with him. This was a real ordeal for her, you know. Did you guys ever sleep in bug bands? Yeah, I know. It was like a little edgehog who didn't want to let anyone get near back then. I feel sorry for everyone who had to put up with me. Like, did you guys ever sleep in bug beds? And if you did... Did you take the floor one or the, or the upper one? I was mostly a floor one guy. I didn't like to sleep up in the air. I'm still amazed you even bothered trying to be friendly. Well, I knew you weren't the... We are only playing though. Like that time with Rufina and the chocolate. Stop! We're not hearing that story here. <laughs> and now I'm really curious. Do Another bedroom. We're going back to memory lane now. This is the boys' bedroom, where I slept until I was about 10 years old. Technically, the boys and girls weren't supposed to enter one, ad one another's room. That never stopped Rias here from doing it all the time, though. What he neglects to mention is that it was all his fault I did so. What else was I supposed to do when he slept in every morning he was on cleaning duty? But, well, you could have just knocked on the door until I got up. But then I disturbed the other boys who were sleeping, which would have been unfair. They weren't the ones shirting their duties. It was 100% of your fault. Fine, fine, whatever you say. We're getting kind of the backstory of Kevin and Rias right now, which is really nice. This here is the girls' bedroom. The place where Rufina spent our nights. Same for you eventually to Rias. I've been used to sleeping her with her from time to time. Her bed was always cozy and smelled real nice. It was much nicer than sleeping in my own. After she left here, her bed became mine. I bet you were jealous. <laughs> you bet. It was at the time, I'll, I was at the time, I'll admit. Oh, I thought you'd be a bit more frustrated than that. I shouldn't have bothered saying anything. Give me a break. They're just teasing. They're like brother and sister at this point. They grew up together, so it kind of makes sense. Is this luck? Why won't it open? This is a side entrance that only opens from the inside. 
we can't get in from the outside. Yeah, if we want, if we want to get into the chapel, we're gonna have to go to the front. Okay, that's fine enough. Was there anything here in the field that we can interact with? There's a well? There's an empty well. We used to get our drinking water out of here. And by the way, for those that aren't sub, just heads up, there's gonna be an ad in one minute. So during the ad, go grab yourself something to eat, go grab some food, water, move around, and we're gonna be right back. You shouldn't be miss too much. It's some backstory right now. So make sure you move around, take care of yourself, and we're gonna be right back. We had no fancy herbal pumps either. We did it all using a good old-fashioned bucket with string attached. It was a nightmare. Tell me about it. We would go out on winter mornings and come back with our hands numb and raw, red raw. But looking back on the old experience now, it was fun in its own way. <laughs> I guess it was. Do -do -do. Going back the front entrance, the duck is the door is locked. Figures. Is it locked? Yeah. Well, whatever, we can keep poking around. Is there a back entrance then? Because I can explore everything? I feel. Same thing. There doesn't seem to be anything here. In the back here, is there anything? Doesn't seem like it. So where would we need to go? I don't know, I'm lost. Empty well. I thought maybe we could find a key here. So we need to go back into this, I guess. Then we search for something we can do. This is here. The kitchen didn't have anything. No, nothing to be hidden here. Then we go up. We go here. Nothing here, nothing here. Maybe in the big girl quarter there's a key somewhere. That's my guess. No. Is in the boys room a key? Like we need a key somewhere. We just need to find it. There doesn't seem to be anything flashing. Like usually when we can interact with something, there's an exclamation mark. But there's nothing right now we can interact with. Was there something we can go there? No, it's not an entrance. So we go here. We can explore everywhere. I'm so lost. We can change the camera to see if we missed anything. What do I do here? I cannot go there. That's a mist again. I cannot go here. I'm lost. There's nothing here. There's no key hidden anywhere. No key here. I cannot move past this. I already went to the well. I talked to that. This series is already done. This is a door that we cannot open. We really need to go to the chapel, but for some reason I cannot open it. Like this won't open. And this won't open. Where can I go? They said we can explore somewhere else, but I feel I've explored everything I can. Season pass done, not to wait for 12 hours for tailment. Do you have any, a lot of gems saved for, it, for that? I'm really lost. If anyone in chat sees something that can help me. Like I'm confused. What do I do? Yeah, 4k, but I think it's enough since I have more than 300 UR dust. Yeah, that seems more than enough. And welcome back, everyone. I hope the ads wasn't too bad. Anyone in chat knows what to do here? I'm kind of lost. I don't know what I need to do more. Like, I, I feel I need to go into the chapel, but I cannot... The door's locked. 
So I feel I need to find a key. But I don't see any keys anywhere. Uh, there's a map, not in the building. But once I go, was there anything here? No. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Like V's to get the map out. There's nothing here. So we go back down. Like if I go outside, like I've got a map. So I went everywhere here. There's two entrances there that I couldn't move to. I've talked to the well. But other than that, I don't know what I can do more. I'm so lost. Like, they just said we probably need to explore more. If I go to the journal, what does it say? I have to draw water from manually. We check the girl's room. Uh, we check the boy's room. We check the kid's room. We check the matron's room. We check the kitchen. We check the living room. We then go inside. Let's look elsewhere. There should be some clue as to how to reach the seventh plane here. Thank you for the refresh, Amen. Make sure you guys drink some water too. But yeah, does anyone in chat knows what we need to do here? If you've played the game before. Because maybe we go back here? But there's nothing in those patch. There's nothing there. If we go outside and back in. Let's just go out and go back. See if it changes anything. Oh god. Ugh. Even when I don't play our game, it spooked me so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the scream. <laughs> That's very scream. Uh, Yuri, Riri. Yeah, the scream was... It, 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 you don't expect it. And with it set up, like, with mix it up, you... I don't see it coming. And it's so terrifying. <laughs> Hello, game. Can I do anything? At this point, I might just Google what I need to do. Because I'm so lost. I have no idea what I need to do. There's no indication. They only said... Explore more. Doesn't have a keyhole. I can't explore this wall. This is locked. This here. This here. There's nothing there. The walls have nothing. The well we went a lot of time. Right here. If we go back into this, we explored everything a lot of time. I'm just going in circle at this point. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. Could the game give me some int, please? Uh... Okay, so now here. Yeah, at this point, I think I'm just going to Google it. I'm going to do a last run, see if I see anything. But if I do not, at this point, I might just... Pop out the good searcher and find out what I need to do. Like, there's something here, but I don't think that's where we need to be. So, where are we now? We're on the Astro House, so let me just Google it real quick so we're not stuck here for eternity. Uh... Let's do this. And do, but try entering and exiting the most left house through the first door. Uh, something. So this guy says try entering and leaving from here. It was just bugged. I just needed to exit from this door. Okay, game. We would have never found that out. Hello, skater. The stream's going pretty good. How's your day going? How's Easter going for you? There was no sign of anything in there. Our last hope seems to be the 
the chap chapel. So it seems. It was really annoying to be honest this. Like, why couldn't it trigger on the other door? Just starting it. Do you have plans for today? What is it, Kevin? My day's been pretty good. I, I woke up at like maybe 10, ate some seafood pasta that I made yesterday. And later on after the stream, I'm going to see my family. We're having a little dinner, nothing special, nothing Christian, just having some fun. Easter is the time just to meet family, I feel. A bit like Christmas. Hey, Rias. You were the one responsible for cleaning that ch the chapel that day, right? What day? On Astrid House final day. And tomorrow I plan to go see the D&D movie with some friends. So I'm really excited about that. I've heard so many good things from uh, about it from people. When Rufina died. Ke Kevin? Oh, oh. That was what I was told when I went to visit the matron afterward at least. Well, were you? Yeah, I was. Why? I thought so. Check your pockets, yes. I'm pretty sure the chapel's keys in one of them. Huh? Eventually she found an old brass key. It was in your pocket all along? It can be. Is that the key? That makes sense. This is just another manifestation of this world's ability to make thoughts into reality. Honestly, I wasn't entirely sure you'd find it in here. But in... All the other areas of, the, of this plane, there was always a reason to take the person we needed with us. This just goes to show that you really were meant to come here, yes. But, but... No, as disbelieving as I am, this is definitely the chapel key. I suppose all we can do right now is try to go inside. Yeah. So what story are we gonna get? The door's locked. Before we go in here, yes. There's something I should warn you about. Once we step through the door, there'll be no going back. You're going to find out the truth about what happened that day. All of it. And you won't like it. Are you sure you're ready for what you're about to find? Why do I have a feeling... Like... The girl... When, like, our... I don't remember if it was our older sister or mother. I think it was older sister only. But why do I have a feeling that he turned evil and Kevin had to kill her? I've got a bad feeling about this, to be honest. Let's use the key. I'm more than ready. All these years, I've never quite been able to accept what happened here. The life I thought I knew just suddenly came to an end. With us all getting moved to other places, and I still don't know why. I even tried to come back here just before beginning my training to become a squire. But it had already been demolished. I've been ready for a long time. I want to know the truth. And more than anything, I feel like knowing will let me get closer to you and Rufina. Okay, let's head on in then. Right. Say, would it be best for the rest of us to stay outside? No, actually I'd prefer if you came in with, us, with me. This is relevant to you guys too in a sense. Do -do. Do -do 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 -do. It all started five years ago. A Jaeger Corp, someone at the IR took this place over out of nowhere. By the way, how much do you remember of the day of that Darius? Just so I know. Hi. I just remember a group of men in black forcing their way through the gate and charging in here. They tied everyone up, took the matron up to the second floor, and then... Next thing you knew, you are in bed in the hospital in town, right? After which you found out that Rufina and I had come to rescue everyone, and that she had died in the process. That about right? Hmm. <laughs> Just what happened, Kevin? All I've heard is that it was the work of someone who opposed the church. But I haven't had the chance to meet you since then. Much less to ask you about it. I tried asking instructor Selnate, but she wouldn't say a word. That doesn't surprise me. The Grass Riders commander can't admit this orphanage was being 
used as a smokescreen for an artifact that needed sealing away. It what? Here we go. Oh, secret passage. A, a secret passage? Well, the search, is, the search church is so sketchy in this game. Like, I still don't know if they're actually that good. They're kind of goodish, but they're not really good per se, I would think. But wait, if there was an artifact here, don't you don't mean... Yep. Below here is a primal ground used to seal artifact away. Just like the other, the one under Grenzel Cathedral. Some water, make sure you guys stay hydrated too. Two, two, two. That's a long way down. Such a long way. This must be a pain to go back up. Like, you're gonna get so tired going back up this thing. Thanks for the refresh. I'm sure you remember. The day it all happened, Rufina and I, and I were due to come back here for the first time in a while. We were both coming from different places we'd been seen. We wanted to meet up in town and come to the come the rest of the way here together. But then our train was delayed, leaving me in town to wait for her alone. That was when I was, got word of what happened. All I could think was that you and the other kids were in danger, so I decided to try and take out the Jaeger here alone. They weren't all that experienced, so fighting them wasn't even hard for a square like me. Before long, I was able to disable them all and free the Matron and the other kids. Or so I thought. You are nowhere to be seen. Ask the other kids where you were. They told me one of the Jaeger had taken you somewhere else and that you were unconscious. I looked frantically all over trying to find you before eventually stumbling across this place. As for how... You remember how you didn't have your ribbon in your air when you woke up, yes? I, I do. What does that have to do with anything? I found that ribbon in front of the secret passage we've just gone through. And there were new footprints near it, too. Made it easy to find the entrance. Oh. Anyway, after getting in here, I made my way down this staircase and first searched of the Jaeger that had taken you. I really feel like it's gonna be the sister that's gonna be like the one responsible for the Jaeger and all. She was delayed, the train, she wasn't there. It all makes sense. Hey, Rias. Do you remember what I was like back when you, f you first met me? Yeah. I was still young at the time, but it's as fresh as if it were only yesterday. You look like you'd been swallowed by blackness. Hello, Silku Siku. Hope you're doing good today. How's your Easter going? Like, there wasn't a single thread of hope bound to you. It was scary. I kept wondering what must have happened to you. What you must have seen to make you end up that way. Oh, it's silky now. I'm gonna try to remember. I'm really bad with name. But I hope you're doing good today. Is it morning or you're emotionally attached, attached to silky? I'm gonna try to remember. I'm gonna do my best. But yeah, how was your day? Is it morning? Is it afternoon for you? Do you have plans for today? <laughs> what must have happened to me, huh? Rufina seems like she knew. Before I met you, I killed my mom. Oh god, dropping the bomb right on us. What? Maybe killed isn't the right expression. It's not like I directly did it. I still let her die though. <laughs> you don't know, you don't look outside. <laughs> well, I hope your day's going great. I'm still, I still let her die though. I still got a responsibility for what happened. Growing up, it was basically me and my mom for the most part. My father showed his face from time to time, but not that much. From what I understand, 
He had another family elsewhere. But even without him, she did her best to look after me on her own. I loved her dearly. Kids in the neighborhood used to make fun of me and uh, for how I talk, which I got from her, but I just beat them up most of the time. You don't know what's the day, but I'm happy I'm here. I'm happy you're here too. She was always kind, she loved cooking, and yeah, I thought the world of her. When I was seven, my father, who had all the money in the world, chose to abandon her. At the best of times, she was always a frail person, and after that, she grew more and more despondent. Her health suffered. I tried everything a kid could do to cheer her up, but nothing I did worked. Let's go! And during one winter days, when she must have finally had enough, she came over while I was sleeping and tried to strangle me. Oh god! This is dark, guys. This is this go this went real dark real fast. I failed as your mother, but I'm so tired. I'm so so tired. At least this way. At least this way. The two of us can. I guess you figured that if we were both going to suffer, we might as well take the easier way out as a family. But I wouldn't let her take me with her. Before I knew what I was doing, I pushed her aside and ran barefoot out into the snow. I wandered around for a while after that. I couldn't understand what had happened or what she'd been trying to do. Eventually, I could not I could feel myself getting hungry. I thought that maybe she'd be able to clear her head. I made my way back home, nervous as could be, and... Oh god. This is actually really sad, to be honest. Like, this was so peaceful for a moment. I... <laughs> Sorry for making you listen to all this. Till I think that's probably when it happened. This... Kevin must have so much trauma from that. I cannot understand his character now. <laughs> Why he was like, all secretive, was reserved and all. It all makes sense. When my stigma was carved inside me. What? Secret door. That's a beautiful place, to be honest. The long walk before the altar. What a strange place. Who would have thought a place like this existed under an orphanage? This is, was where I finally caught up to the Jaeger who had you with him. He probably didn't think anyone was gonna come after him. The second he saw me, he panicked. And putting his gun down, he ran over to the pedestal right in front of us. On it was the artifact that required sealing away, I mentioned earlier. The Spear of Loa. What's the Spear of Loa? A malignant spear that transformed the body of its holder into that of a monster. It's hard to believe something like that could be a gift from the goddess, right? In any case, the cornered Jaeger grabbed it and used it. Oh, that's what killed her. I didn't stand a chance. Much as I tried, I wasn't any match for the inhuman monster before me. He knocked me to the ground, and then went to raise the spear against the still unconscious you. That's all it took. That's where he got his stigma. Oh, and did the stigma kill the other girl? Please tell me no. I feel that's what's gonna happen. My stigma drew all of the spear power from it into itself, and blasted it, magnified countless time over, into the Jaeger's body. The result wasn't even a battle. Our precious home became a slaughterhouse. By the end, 
he wasn't even recognizable. Just thousands of lumps of flesh thrown, uh, thrown all over the floor. After defeating him, my Sigma power, my Sigma's power was still coursing through my body. I'd never experienced anything like that before. I lost complete control of myself. At this point, Rufina arrived, and she seemed to understand exactly what had happened. Using her bow gun and Templar sword, she was able to separate me from you and pretend, prevent me from doing you any harm. And then... Yeah, that's what I thought. I knew it. I knew it. She's for sure now the main villain of this. Like, there's no question asked. She's the Lord of Phantasm right now. When I returned to my senses, I was in her harm, dumbfounded. Her body was full of holes all over, and she hugged me as tightly as she. That's when she drew her last breath. No. There it is, the truth you wanted. It wasn't that I couldn't save Rufina. I was the one who killed her. With my own hands, right in front of you. But, but, but you didn't. I didn't want to? Maybe not, but that's just an excuse. If I'd been able to control my Stigma's power instead of letting it consume me and fill me with bloodlust, I wouldn't have happened. If it wasn't so weak, she'd still be alive today. That's not all either. Looking at her standing before me at that moment, she reminded me of my mother. That's what I- like, she was a mother figure for him, so they kind of set up everything there. She reminded me of my mom and when she came to strangle me. Suddenly, this feeling of betrayal willed up inside me. This desire for revenge, so I filled her full of spear. I loved them both. I wanted to protect them both. Heh. And what I- what did I do? I killed them both. Me. Why? Why did you? Why did I what? Why didn't you tell me this before? Five years apart, and this is the first time you're telling me this? Sorry, I know you sh I should have done this it earlier, but now I have a memory for the consequences. So go on, if you want to adventure, do it. If anything, it will make me happy if you did. You're so stupid! Oh, the hug. But what are you? Oh, it might not be an hug, she might be grabbing him by the collar. <laughs> you think I want to adventure? That's not why I'm angry at all. Why have you shouldered the burden of that great all this time, all on your own? We're family, Kevin. Why didn't you ever talk to me? Why didn't you ever let me hug you? Why didn't you let me do anything to help you? Rias? Rias? I... I finally understand. I always thought you were hunting down heretics as, as some kind of atonement for letting Rufina die. But that, that's not it at all, is it? But come on, Rias. I finally, finally understand. You don't want to atone for anything. You don't want to get rid of your sense of guilt at all. You... you... That's right, he wants to be punished for what he did. And the Lord of Phantasm appears. Yeah. The, the, this is for sure... The... Rufina. Oh? But why now of all time? So that's what they look like, huh? Haha, <laughs> you have my congratulations on making it this far. Beyond here lies the seventh plane. The place of my birth and the foundation of all planes thereafter. That's so. And judging by how we have to go through air to get there. I was right, wasn't it? Wasn't I? Right about what? Allow me to ask you once again, so, Kevin Graham. Do you really want to see the face underneath this mask? Damn right I do. It's time to take that creepy mask thing and show us who you really are. Rufina Argent. I knew it all along. Ha ha ha, with pleasure. Like since the start of the game, they were hinting that it was Rufina. R Rufina? I've missed you dearly, yes. And as for you, Kevin, I'm impressed you're able to work out my real identity. It wasn't hard. I had a feeling from the start. The answer was right in front of my face the whole time. And you ever, your every taunt should have made me that much more sure. The only reason I couldn't be until now was because I didn't want to accept the truth. 
quite. Y'all is very weakling. You can imagine how surprised I was when you were able to defeat my strongest knight. You talking about the Blade Lord? What connection does he even have to you anyway? I met him through my work, uh, oh, about six years ago? We were enemy at the time, but we managed to reach a compromise of some of sorts. And he felt he owed me a debt for as much. Alright, so you ended up summoning him in order to have him repay it. It's a crafty move, but that's not so out of character for you. <laughs> Flattery won't get you anywhere with me. Still, now that you've made it this far, I assume you understand what I'm trying to do. Yes, and I'm ready. Take me away. What? Wait, what are you talking about? I would, I would have thought you were the answer to that out already, yes. Do you recall what I said before? Kevin wants to be punished. Then you... I was born here in order to give him the punishment he strived for with his every breath. Oh no, Kevin's an M. Kevin is an M. I was to that end that I recreated Phantasma into its current form and welcome all of you here. All this was a result of Kevin's desire. He wanted this to happen. You're lying. Sorry, she isn't. I couldn't tell you why it all actually happened, but what she says is true. No, no. The seventh plane is likely somewhere made for the express purpose of punishing me over and over. A fitting hell for someone who let his mother die and killed Rufina to suffer and rot. And once I'm dropped down there, this, uh, this will all be over. But that's not right. I mean, I suppose it makes sense, but I still can't understand why. Rias? What do you think you're doing, Rias? That's not a very nice thing to do to your sister. Shut up! You're not my sister. My sister would never do something like this. Never! Wait, Rias... You promised me, Kevin. You promised me that you'd never do anything that would make Rufina sad. So what do you think you're doing? How can you believe sacrificing yourself for everyone would make her happy? Rias, stop. <laughs> who, do you, who are you to say it wouldn't? It might not... I might not be the real Rufina, but I'm very close copy of her. If Kevin wants to be punished, why wouldn't I want to give him his wish? Because that's not how Rufina was at all. She'd never indulge something like that, not even not in a thousand years. Think back to when you first met us, Kevin. You'd given up on the world, like you just wanted to disappear. But did she let you do that? No. She forced chocolate down your throat and dragged you right back into the real world. Even when you didn't want to. Whether you liked it or not, she... I... I... Ah, <laughs> well, this is a surprise. You've grown a lot more than I expected if you're able to talk back to me. Stop talking to me as if you're my sister. You're not. And I won't stand for, stand for you defiling her any further. Hmm, well, if that's how you want to do things... Perhaps I should invite you in Kevin's place. Me? No? Yes! No! The rest of you can stand by and watch. Uh, no! It's the evil eye! Is she gonna awaken a stigma or something? Rias! Stop this, Rufina. She's got nothing to do with any of this. Oh, but she has. Consider this another part of your punishment. After all, if she suffers for all eternity in your place, that's going to make you your suffering all the more potent, isn't it? Please. Go ahead and do your worst. Oh? Rias? Drop me wherever you like. I'll live. I'm never going to let Kevin be alone again. I will come back to him. A fighting word, my sweet sister. We shall see whether you can make good of them. Uh. Oh no, she's gone! Uh. The stigma again. Kevin? Ah, he's gonna jump in! <laughs> Are we gonna be a party of two for the next one? Oh, cutscene! She lost her hat? 
Grab her, Kevin. Go on. <laughs> They're going to Brazil. Hello, Takeshi. I hope you're doing good today. Do you have any plan for Easter? Hey. Hey, Rias. Wake up. Hmm? Ke Kevin? Are we gonna be only those two? Because Rias is really weak right now. Ah. Uh, you okay? Feeling any pain? N no, I'm okay, I think. But why are you? I feel I felt through that crack alone. So why are you? No plans for Easter, just chilling. That's good though. My plan is only to go see family and just have dinner with them. Probably finish my taxes document there. <laughs> you big dummy. Oh, the flick. Me? What were you thinking with all that taunting? Go ahead and do your worst. Drop me wherever you like. You like. I'll live. And just how do you know you live? All oh, right, you don't. But but. You're a squire, aren't you? A rookie like you with no experience or proper judgment has no big business making call that put her own safety at risk. If you can promise to never do that again, then you and I both know you're not cut out to be part of the Grass Rider. That's probably what I should be saying anyway. But I'd be real rich coming from me, huh? So I left the, you up the, with that little bop here. Huh? Look around us. This is it. The seventh plane. Wow. It's... hot? It's really hot. Gehina. Yep, it's just like the testament brought to life. And I'm the one responsible for bringing it all. Oh? After all, if there's one place that's possible, it's Phantasma. I don't know how Rufina came back, but she did with both memories and personality intact. And now I have to, the good fortune of being punished by one of the very people I wronged. I really couldn't think of a more fitting punishment for a bastard like me. Everything she said was dead on. More than anything, I wanted to be punished. I figured that by accepting that punishment, all of this would be done. And everyone else could go back to their lives. I thought I could be just like her, sacrificing my own life so everyone else could be saved. But that wouldn't make me like her at all, would it? No, she might have given up her life to save yours, but that wasn't because she was happy to throw away her life to protect someone else's. It was because she was saw literally no other option. With me unconscious, she didn't ha even have the choice to retreat. There was no way out of the situation without one of the three of us losing our lives. That's the only reason we cho she chose to do what she did. Yeah. She was never the kind of person who would praise self-sacrifice as some kind of virtue. She'd only ever accept it as an option if all the other had been exhausted. And it was truly the only way. Right. But this time, that's not the case. Hello, Nagi. Bon matin. I hope you're doing good today. Do you have any plan for Easter? You were streaming earlier, right? How was the code vein? Were you able to beat the encounter I was there earlier to see you do? You're here, I'm here, all of our friends are here. If we put our head together, I'm sure we could have found another way out of here. One where no one would have to die. You must have realized that, and yet you tried to take the easier way out. It was fun, I beat the bus, no easter plans, just gonna clean. Well that's good. I hope you take your day slow and uh, just relax. Didn't you? I hate to say it, but yeah, I did. That's a pretty shameful thing for Dominion to be doing, huh? Haha, <laughs> see? I've got no right to be criticizing you. I'm even less fit to be a knight than you. Still, sending around lamenting my own failing isn't gonna get us anywhere. So if you're up for walking, let's get ourselves out of here. Come again? What are you looking so surprised for? I didn't think I was gonna stay here and accept being punished for all eternity, did you? Well... Either either that, or stay here and wait for Rufina to show up again. Listen, Arius, I'm not gonna deny that there's a part of me, a big part, that wants to be punished for what I did. 
and that there is a part of me that was overjoyed to see Rufina again. However, it came to be. But I'm not alone down here. You're here with me, and believe me, that changes everything. As long as you're here, I'm not staying in this hellhole a second longer than I have to. We're getting out of here, you and me, no matter what it takes. Right, right. Do 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 do. <laughs> Escape from Brazil. Yeah, it's a bit too hot for me. Uh, I live where s if it goes over 20C, which is around like 70 Fahrenheit, maybe it's way hot. So this is a bit too hot for me. We're just going to do a quick save so we don't lose what we just did. We don't need to go to the other cutscene. Strange power overflowing from the orb. The problem right now is that Rias is really weak compared to everyone else. Like, I couldn't upgrade her orbment. Those doesn't seem too strong, so that's fine. Stay alert. Let's try to level her up a bit. Maybe get some sepit so we can upgrade her slot. Let's do a craft. Can we do... Okay, that's not something we can do. We can hit both of those. Maybe that's gonna be enough. This should be our training art to get strong. Yeah, exactly. So this here, both of those are really low. Maybe we do... That's a support. <clears throat> oh, that's an healing. This should kill all of them, maybe. That's a neat attack. I never did this one. But the thing is, for her to get stronger, it's mostly gonna need to be her getting... Us getting a shop, so we can upgrade her slots. Like, we have the tools to make her stronger, she just doesn't have the... Orbment slot to put the gems in. But we're gonna fight everything. This should be good training to get her to where she needs to be. Let's see if she can kill one on her own. Yeah, she can. With the 10 power, she can. I don't know without if she can, though. This should insta kill because of the death blow here. Do 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 do. And we're gonna be going on for a bit, but probably not gonna start anything big right now because I need to go out, like start prepping for going out real soon. Oh, that's a new weapon for her. That's gonna be good. How strong is it compared to the one she has right now? That's 200 more damage and a bit of more ATS. That's real good. And what does the chest say now? The chest is empty. Thank you for the info. Oh, that's a big boy. The biggest of them all. So Kevin's gonna punch here. She's gonna punch this. <coughs> okay, so she does a bit of damage. She's a good melee attacker. The problem is Kevin's better than her at doing melee, I feel. Or maybe not. Oh, she's better by a bit. Okay, that's not too bad. Take that. So they're fine. She's not too weak. She's always been pretty strong. And she's gonna level up a bit. So we open the chest. EP charge. So now this is the right way. But I want to go to the chest first. I cannot change camera angle here. Is this a cosmic gear? Uh, equip? What does this do? More defense, a lot more defense. 200 more is nothing to scuff at. So I think we're gonna fight the Minotaur looking guy here. Maybe go to the next place. And then that's probably gonna be it for today. So for this guy, is he resistant to anything? He's resistant to fire, weak to... Mirage. So we're gonna do some Ascension. Then we're gonna do with her... 
I'm gonna try some ascension to see how it goes. Okay, so he didn't attack for now. So let's do some ascension. How much is it gonna do? Oh, this guy's weak. I was expecting him to be strong. Those guys are so weak. That's stupid. <laughs> We're supposed to be in the final area. Why are they so weak? Like, I killed them without even thinking about it. Like, let's just do that and they're all gonna die. This here, now one of them is dead. Then this should kill anyone that's alive right now. It just fasten it up a bit. Like, I could have killed them one by one, but this is just gonna be faster. Doo -doo. Yeah, just 6k on a 2k health enemy. <laughs> For getting back some Sepit, like, the ones that we need are from enemies here, so that's pretty good. So now we move forward. Rawr! What was that shout? Oh, that's a goopy monster. <coughs> Kevin Graham. You son of a bitch. How dare you? <laughs> Languid? What? One of the heretic I killed, huh? Damn right I am. I'm Owen. The first of so many lives you claimed. Oh, Owen? He was a bishop in the congregation of our divine worship. He was also the one who hired those Jaeger to attack Caster House, all as a pathetic act of revenge after being exiled for corruption. Him? Like he says, he was my first target after taking up my role as heretic hunter. Heh, <laughs> I never thought I'd have the chance to see you ugly, your ugly mug again. How does it feel to crawl around in this flaming pit for all eternity, unable to even die or to, to even die to break free from it all? It's hot. It hurts. I hate it. I hate it. It's hot. I hate it. I hate it. It hurt. Hate. Help me. Hot. Hate. Pain. Hate. Help. Hot. Hate. 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 Help. Hate. Hot. Haha, <laughs> 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 what a pitiful sight you are now. Well, hey. I guess you've suffered enough that I can put you out of your misery. No more heat or, or suffering for you. Just a quick death and eternal rest as a grimoire. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Give them a quick reboot. Let, yeah, just turn them off and on again. This should work. <laughs> Never mind, Perma shut them. <laughs> so, they might move a bit for her. The thing is, she doesn't have that good spells. But I think I'm just gonna cluck up Kevin a bit. So they're gonna move forward. I'm gonna wait for them to move forward a bit so that I don't miss my... Oh no, they gotta suck. They're gonna suck everyone. Okay, so now they're all in the AoE range. Let's see how much I do. Kevin is so broken right now, so... Let's see how fast we can kill those. But yeah... If we are going through enemies that Kevin has killed over the years, I feel we're gonna see the final boss of the second game. Because Kevin kinda destroyed him. Like the the guy that was leading the second game completely. Uh, Kevin just kinda went and decided to petrify him when he was trying to run away. So I feel we're gonna see him again. Uh, I'm gonna cure now so we don't have poison. It's gonna be a pain to have poison on us, so... This is gonna be better for now. Cure the status. Oh, he's dividing. Okay, so they deal a bit of damage, but not too much. Does she have healing? Okay, she has some. But nothing AoE, so she's gonna heal herself. Kevin's gonna go on the offensive. She's gonna be a heal bot for now. Just making sure everyone stays alive. She's not the most useful against those. 
Uh, art, he's gonna do... They're probably weak to... This. Yeah, they're weak to time magic. So, let's do White Gehenna. Let's use less magic. We could do the big one again, but I don't think the damage number are gonna be that important that we need to do the big, big one. Divide again. Fluid. Don't put your fluid on me. That's gross. He's sucking my EP. And now we can do this again. Divide it again. They're real. They're a real pain, to be honest. He missed. Nice. No. Super fluid. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, let's hope we kill them fastish. I think they keep the HP of the main body. Okay, so that's... Oh, we're gonna die with Kevin. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that's... Bad? I forgot the... Killed people. They explode when they die. So, we're gonna do fresh water to heal him. And then we have a turn again. So, we can do with him... We can do Shadow Spear at this point. This should kill. And with her, she's gonna do a Tyrael on him. So a bit of a miscalculation on my part. I forgot they exploded when they died. But this should be it for this fight. Not that hard, but it's the first one. Do 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 do. Their album is good. Kevin? Alright, let's skip this up. I doubt we're, ne we're near the exit just yet. We can't dawdle here for too long. Okay, so I'm gonna heal. Orbment on Earth. Tyrion on him. Tyrion on him. Tyrion on herself. And on that note for now though... I think I'm gonna go for now. I still need to get ready to go see my parents and all. So that's gonna be the stream for today. Uh, there's probably not gonna be a stream tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to see the D&D movie like I said earlier. And after that I'm probably gonna go eat some dinner with some friends. So I don't wanna commit to having a stream. It's just gonna make it difficult and all. So. For now, no stream for tomorrow, so the next stream is going to be on Friday. I think I looked around. At first, I wasn't sure if I was going to finish Amnesia on stream, but I looked, it's like an 8 or 11 hour game, so we could add a Friday stream to finish Amnesia. So we're going to see. Uh, we're already two hours in, so we should be pretty far into it. So... Let's. I'm probably not gonna do the schedule today, but tomorrow I'm probably gonna have the schedule up. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, you're gonna be able to see whenever I go live. So feel free to do so. I always post the schedule on Twitter. I post it on Discord too. If you want to follow me, it's, uh, join the Discord. It's exclamation mark point, ah, exclamation mark Discord. And on that note, let's see who we can raid. So who's online? There's Maple that we haven't raided in a while. There's Mad Rucksack that we haven't raided. There's Ashi that we raided. Eba, I never raided. Oh, I raided a bit Eba a bit ago. There's Asher too. We could go raid Asher. I never raided Asher. So I think I'm going to send you guys there. I know most of you guys are Yu Gi Oh players, so you're probably going to like Asher's stream. I don't know why he's streaming right now. So let's start the raid. At Asher. Uh, let me just get the name. Oh, he seems to be doing a collab with Maple too. So that's great. There's a lot of people. You're going to have a fun time there. So let's raid Asher. I hope you guys have a great time. You have fun on your Easter. Easter. Here's the raid message for the sub. Here's the raid message for the nuts. Dot sub. And on that note, I'm going to see you guys next time on Wednesday at 7 p.m. EST. And bye bye.